Hi everyone, Greg here. Now today I'm going to be doing a review on this beer called Furphy. Now Furphy is a Victorian beer from Geelong. Now on the back here it says, long before Furphy meant tall stories, it meant water tanks made by the Furphy family of Shepparton. So maybe they made water tanks and they figured, hey, let's throw some hops and malt in. <laughs> that is quite a brewery that they started there. Now Little Creatures owns this now and I think this is uh, a beer to, to remember the Furfies of Sheppenden for what they've done for beer in Australia. Now this is 4.4% alcohol volume and it's a 375ml bottle. Whereas most bottles are going 330ml, this one's uh, still 375 which is a good old Aussie tradition I must say. It's in a beautiful brown bottle here and it's just, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks kind of cloudy in the bottle. So I'm sort of really looking forward to seeing what it looks like in a glass. So straight away one of the negatives to this beer is that, oh it is a twist top. Oh, well, well there you go, it's a positive. Brought this down just in case, but I'm sure I couldn't open one the other day. I must have been too weak from not having a beer. Anyway, let's see what colour this bad boy is. Well, there you go. How good does that look? It looks absolutely refreshing and it's got a nice sort of smallish head on there. Yeah, it's got some bubbles in it, as you can see, but it is a cloudy ale, isn't it? Now it's made with 100% Victorian hops and malt and furfy subtle and balanced flavour with a slightly dry finish offers true refreshment they reckon. Well, let's find out. So the heads disappeared pretty quickly and uh, that's a shame because I was really hoping that it wouldn't. Maybe I can froth it up with the dregs. Mmm, it smells so good. It just smells like a really delicious beer, I gotta tell you. Oh man, definitely some floral scents there. Mmm, man, that smells good. I'm craving for this, so let's go. Well, it's got a nice flavour going down. It's got a real VB sort of taste about it. It's got that dryness about it as well. It is a nice tasting beer, that's for sure. It's very harsh on the tongue first up, but then those flavours really absorb into your mouth. The harshness goes away. The harshness from the hops, that is, goes away, and then it leaves this nice sort of sweet taste in your mouth. It's a pretty well balanced beer, that one. But afterwards, now, um, all I'm tasting is that dryness of the hops on the back of my tongue. So it's a real Aussie sort of flavour, I must say. But it's got that real VB sort of taste about it. Not too sure why it's so cloudy for. Maybe it's unfiltered. If I had my glasses, I could probably read that, but unfortunately, I haven't. But it's a nice tasting beer. It's got a nice full flavour, just with a slight watery aftertaste though. It is one of those hard Aussie beers like you probably expect. I'm guessing it probably would be a session ale. Uh, I'm not too sure how many I could drink at once but um, definitely one that you could have more than one of that's for sure. Now they're not cheap they're about 50 bucks a carton which I guess is pretty normal nowadays. Now I am a little bit disappointed it's probably not as fizzy as what I'd probably prefer. It is has it's like it's been toned down a little bit, a little watered down and it hasn't got much of a head on it. There are still some bubbles coming up but overall it's a pretty nice tasting beer. Like I said it's pretty dry afterwards, the hop taste stays on your tongue, uh, the maltiness is there on the first sip though and it's pretty good. So all around it's a pretty nice beer. Hmm. It's pretty easy to drink actually and uh, I'm sure it'll be good with a nice steak or at a barbecue or something. These would go down real well. So how many stubbies out of 10 is it worth? Well, I reckon this beer here, it's got some good flavours. It's pretty nice, goes down easy and it's nice tasting. Definitely one that's worth a go. I'm giving this 
eight stubbies out of ten. So there you go, the Furphy. Another beer out of Victoria. It's pretty good and really worth a go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for our next review. Catch you then.